Among the most interesting and important numbers in maths are prime numbers. Their distinguishing feature is that they're divisible only by themselves and one. The first 10 of them are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. Gradually, as they get larger, the gaps between them tend to widen. For example, after a thousand, the first 10 are 1,009, 1,013, 1,019, 1,021, 1,031, 1,033, 1,039, 1,049, 1,051, and 1,061. It's easy to prove that there are infinitely many prime numbers. But what particularly interests mathematicians is how they're distributed, the details of the way by which they thin out at larger and larger values. One of the greatest unsolved problems in math, the Riemann hypothesis, is intimately concerned with this very issue. There are also practical reasons for seeking out bigger and bigger primes. Most importantly, very big primes are crucial to the most widely used systems for encrypting data, such as those that underpin all online banking and shopping. The easiest to find primes are those that happen to be Mersenne numbers, named after the French friar and polymath Marin Mersenne, who studied them in the first half of the 17th century. All Mersenne numbers can be expressed in the form 2 to the n minus 1, where n is a positive integer. In other words, they are one less than the corresponding power of 2. The first few are 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, 63, and 127. For small values of n, whenever n is prime, the corresponding Mersenne number is also prime. For example, when n equals 7, 2 to the n minus 1 equals 127, which is prime because it has no factors other than 1 and 127. But this pattern breaks down for n equals 11, because 2 to the 11 minus 1 equals 2047, which equals 23 times 89, so it's not prime. Mathematicians now know that although in the case of every Mersenne prime, n must also be prime, other conditions have to be satisfied as well. Fortunately, these extra conditions are easy enough to be coded into a program so that computers can crunch their way through relatively simple, fast algorithms in the quest for the next biggest Mersenne prime. The process of finding them can be used as a way of testing the speed and capability of new, faster computers and algorithms, the step-by-step -step methods used to solve problems. It also comes in handy as a marketing ploy for these new machines because the appearance of a new, largest known prime tends to make front page news. I actually have some personal experience of this. In the late 1970s, I worked for the Minneapolis-based supercomputer manufacturer Cray Research in the Applications Development Group. One of our tasks was to show how much quicker the Cray One than the world's fastest computer was than any of its rivals. In this, we were helped by the efforts of a young software engineer, David Slowinski. I had the opportunity to meet David on a number of occasions, and he explained to me how his Mersenne prime hunting algorithm worked. He and Harry Nelson, a mathematician at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, where one of the earliest Cray Ones was undergoing acceptance tests, had optimized the algorithm to run on the Cray's unusual vector architecture. In April 1979, Slowinski and Nelson's efforts were rewarded with the discovery of the 27th Mersenne prime, 2 to the 44497 minus 1, the largest prime number known at the time. This also gained the place in the Guinness Book of Records. Slowinski went on to discover six more record-breaking primes between 1982 and 1996, culminating in two 
to the 1257787 or M1257787, the 34th Mersenne prime, which he found in collaboration with computer scientist Paul Gage using a Cray T90 supercomputer. Of the ten largest prime numbers found to date, nine are Mersenne primes. The current champion, discovered in January 2018, is 2 to the 82589933 minus 1. Written out in full, it has close to 25 million digits, enough to fill several volumes of the last print edition of Encyclopedia Britannica. Mersenne primes can be used to find another kind of interesting number known as perfect numbers. A perfect number is a whole number that is equal to the sum of all its factors except itself. For example, 6 is a perfect number because its factors 1, 2 and 3 add to give 6. The next smallest is 28, the sum of 1, 2, 4, 7 and 14. In about 300 BC, Euclid proved that whenever 2 to the n minus 1 is prime, where n itself is prime, in other words, for every Mersenne prime, 2 to the n minus 1 times 2 to the n minus 1 is an even perfect number. For example, the first four perfect numbers are generated like this. For n equals 2, 2 to the 1 times 2 squared minus 1 equals 6. For n equals 3, 2 squared times 2 cubed minus 1 is 28. For n equals 5, 2 to the 4 times 2 to the 5 minus 1 is 496. And for n equals 7, 2 to the 6 times 2 to the 7 minus 1 is 8128. All even perfect numbers end in 6 or 8 and have a corresponding Mersenne prime. There are no known odd perfect numbers, so up to the present there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between known Mersenne primes and known perfect numbers. The largest known perfect number is that corresponding with the largest known Mersenne prime. It has the value 2 to the 8 2 5 8 9 9 3 2 times 2 to the 8 2 5 8 9 9 3 3 minus 1. Written out in full, it involves just under 50 million digits. I won't write them all out here, but the first few are 11084777, and the last few are 91207936. Strangely enough, although we know that there are infinitely many primes, we don't know if there are infinitely many Mersenne primes. We also don't know if there are infinitely many perfect numbers or if there are any odd perfect numbers. Problems for the future.